she was born to do this no weapon fashioned against us that shall be able to prosper and every tongue that shall rise against us in judgment yeah. the lord will condemn she has traveled far and wide to different parts of the world propagating the gospel of jesus christ romans 8 31 says what then shall we say of these things if god is for us who can be against us she is mandated by god to change in lives impacting generations and winning souls i decree and declare i stand as a generational evangelist ordained by god as an oracle as the devil comes in like a flood the spirit of the lord shall lift up a standard in the name of jesus Reverend lucy natasha oracle of god she was born to do this ladies and gentlemen it is my privilege one more time prophetess reverend lucy were you happy last night stand on your feet help me receive the woman of Yahweh, the servant of the lord put your hands together for reverend lucy say oh god do not forget me hallelujah lift up your hands above your head there is such a heavy anointing even as senior prophet ed citrinoli was ministering here lift up your hands above your head this is an anointing service and i want you to just lift up your hands and begin to mention that area of expectation open your mouth i sense it in my spirit and those that are connecting from around the world distance is not a barrier in the realm of the spirit begin to connect to collect Father, we are gathered in your presence on day two of No More Delay and Divine Acceleration Conference. Lord, in this anointing service, release the Solomon's anointing for resource management, wisdom, wealth, success, and prosperity. In this anointing service, release the Isaac's anointing for investment strategies. Release the Cyrus anointing for financial acumen. Release the Samuel's anointing for sensitivity and obedience to the voice of God. Release the Esther's anointing for divine favor and kingdom strategies. Release the Daniel's anointing for governance, excellence, and integrity. In this service, release the Joseph's anointing yeah. for political, business, and economic leadership in strategies. The name of Jesus. In this anointing service, release the Abraham's anointing for pioneering new territories, real estate acquisition, generational covenant blessing. Release the Moses anointing that your people will be trailblazers and, uh, and pay setters. Release the Nehemiah's anointing as a renovator and as a restorer. Lord, release the Ezra's anointing for an authentic and a true worshiper of the true and living God. Release the David's anointing for worship and praise. Release the Paul's anointing for cutting edge apostolic revelation. Release the Elijah's anointing for prophetic accuracy and insights. Release the Elisha's anointing. Oh, for double portion of power and authority. Release the Issachar's anointing for the discernment of correct times and seasons. In this anointing service, Lord, release the Anna's anointing of intercession. Release the Jabez anointing for territorial and intellectual growth. Release the Uziah's anointing for technological advancement. Lord, release the disciples anointing for learning. Release the Christ anointing for prophetic prayer. Uh, signs, wonders, miracles in the name of Jesus. For the move by your spirit and by your power. In Jesus' mighty name, somebody shout amen.
second kings uh, chapter 4 i read from verse 1 a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets cried out to elisha saying your servant my husband is dead and you know that your servant feared the lord and the creditor is coming to take my two sons to be slaves so elisha said to her what shall i do for you tell me what do you have in the house and she said your maid servant has nothing in the house but a jar of oil then he said go borrow vessels from everywhere from all your neighbors empty vessels do not gather just a few and when you have come in you shall shut the doors behind you and your sons up and then pour it into all those vessels and set aside the full ones so she went from him and shut the doors behind her and her sons who brought the vessels to her and she poured it out now it came to pass when the vessels were full that she said to her son bring me another vessel and he said to her there is not another vessel so the oil ceased then she came and told the man of God and he said go sell the oil pay your debts and you and your sons live on the rest lift lift up your hand as you're seated Father, as I share your word, I decrease that you may increase. I disappear that you may appear. Give me the unction to function. Even those that are joining life from North America, South America, the Middle East, in Dubai, in Qatar, in Kuwait, in Bahrain, in Saudi Arabia. Those that are joining from Canada, Australia, Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, uh, South Africa, Botswana. Lord, wherever they are joining from in the Caribbeans, Lord, we declare, let the same unction that is in this auditorium touch them wherever they Jesus. are as they are watching from around the nations of the world in the name of the father the son and of the holy spirit amen let me read one verse proverbs 22 7 the rich proverbs chapter 22 and verse 7 the rich rule over the poor and the borrower is a servant to the lender when you go to this portion of scripture we meet a woman this woman was married to one of the sons of the prophets under the ministry of prophet Elisha. And the Bible says this woman, the husband dies. And you know, when the husband dies, that was a son, a son under the ministry of uh, prophet Elisha. He dies and he leaves the family in a debt crisis. Hallelujah. Proverbs, uh, I need also to clarify something right there. That is an error. Somebody said the error must be corrected. Look at Proverbs 13, 22. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children, to his children's children. But the wealth of the sinner is stored up for the righteous. Number one, this man dies in a debt crisis. This is not the will of God. And by the way, I believe in the covenant of long life. So I believe when you are 100 years or 95 or 99, depending on how long you are trusting God to live. Because the covenant of long life is our heritage. Psalms 91. 116 says with long life I will satisfy you. Psalms 118 verse 17 I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. David said Lord do not take me away in the midst of my days. So I believe the covenant of long life is our heritage. Look at somebody tell them stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Hallelujah. I believe nothing will kill us before our time. We will not die by witchcraft. We will not not die by evil arrow we will not die by sickness we will not die by accident we will not die by COVID-19 ah we are too pandemic for the pandemic tell your neighbor I am too pandemic for the pandemic ah we cannot die before our time and what is killing others will not kill us in the name of Jesus so watch this now so this man died and when he died he died in a death crisis I'm saying this is an error because the Bible clearly tells us that uh, a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. I believe by the time God is promoting us to glory at the age of 99 or at the age of 100 or 95, I believe by the time God is promoting you to glory, you should live companies for your family. Ah, uh, you should live lands, uh, houses, my God. Ah, uh, look at your neighbor, tell them neighbor. Yeah, tell your neighbor, neighbor. The error must be corrected. Can you imagine a man that 
that was a prophet and uh, the prophet Elisha died and left his family in a debt crisis. Watch this now because debt is a tormentor. Debt is a frustrator. Debt can make you have sleepless nights, especially if you don't know how to pay the debt. And this woman was in a debt crisis and the creditors were coming to take the two sons to be his, to be slaves. And so this woman was in distress and the Bible says she went to the prophet Elisha. And if you are here and you are in debt, I prophesy under the corporate anointing uh, with senior prophet Ed Citrinoli that by the end of this year you will be debt free in the name of Jesus the God that brought the children of Israel out of debt the God that paid supernatural debt cancellation for the children of Israel I declare he will bring you out of debt in the name of in Jesus the name of Jesus that is a tormentor that is a frustrator when you are in debt you are under stress Oh my God. When you are in debt, there are people that have sleepless nights because of debts. Are you listening to me? Debt can make a young man look like an old man. Debt can make a young woman look like an old woman. I believe in the blessing of God that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. So this woman was in a debt crisis. And some of you know what it means when the creditors are threatening to come to repossess your house. You know what it means when the creditors are threatening to repossess your car, to repossess the house, to repossess this and that. And you can imagine in the case of this woman, the creditors were threatening to come and take the two sons to be slaves. That is why the Bible says the borrower is a slave to the lender. I prophesy to everyone under the sound of my voice. I declare you will not borrow. You will be a giver and a lender. In the name of Jesus, every mountain of debt that is pushing your finances to bankruptcy, I command it catch fire. Every spirit of debt, I command it catch fire. And any debt you foolishly entered hey. that has now become a distress and fire a burden, I command it fire. fire. Every spirit of debt, come on, say after me. Every spirit of debt, every spirit of death. I want you to know. I want you to know. Beginning today. Beginning today. I am not your candidate. I am not your candidate. Somebody say, my father, my maker. My father, my maker. Before this year is over. Before this year is over. Give me a miracle. Give me a miracle of supernatural death cancellation. Of supernatural death cancellation. Supernatural death eradication. Supernatural. Death my elevation. father, my maker. My father, my maker. My father. My maker, my father, my maker, every mountain of death, every mountain of death, bring it down in the name of bring Jesus. Bring it down in the name of Jesus. By the end of this year, by the end of this year, I receive the miracle. I receive the miracle of death cancellation. Of death cancellation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Declare three times, I'm coming out of death. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sit down. So debt is a bondage. Debt is a bondage. And debt will push you to slavery. The, the borrower is a servant to the lender. So the Bible says when this woman was left in this crisis, she ran to the prophet Elisha. You know, there are situations when you go through, you need the involvement of a prophetic grace. There are situations you can't just pray in your house alone. There are situations that require the involvement of a prophetic grace. So this woman ran to the prophet Elisha. Eh? And the Bible says she cried out to the prophet. There are people that came to this conference. No more delay and divine acceleration. And you are crying. But I'm hearing the Lord say, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I'm hearing the Lord say, beginning now, tears of sorrow will not drop from your eyes. Where is Somebody, I want you to prophesy to yourself. Declare, I declare. I declare. Under this heavy anointing. Under this heavy anointing. Tears of sorrow. Tears of sorrow. Will not drop from my eyes. Will not drop from my eyes. Somebody say, I declare. I declare. I will only cry. I will only cry. Tears of fulfillment. Tears of fulfillment. In the name of Jesus. In the 
the name of Jesus. Say, I declare. I declare. Tears of sorrow. Tears of sorrow. Will not drop from my eyes. Will not drop from my eyes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak as an oracle. Hey. Anything that has been stealing your joy. I silence it in the name of we Jesus. We receive in Jesus' name. I silence it in the name, in of, the name Jesus. of Jesus. Anything that has been stealing your peace. My God. Anything that has been stealing your joy. Jesus. I silence it in the name of, the Jesus. Name of Jesus. Right now I declare. Hey. Receive joy. We receive. Receive peace in your we heart. Receive. Receive peace in your mind. We receive. Receive peace in your soul. We receive. Receive. We receive. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sit down. Le pragadoska. Le graska magadeshka. This woman, she cried out to the prophet and she said to the prophet Elisha, your servant, my husband is dead. And now the creditors are coming to take my two sons to be slaves. There are people here as we are speaking, there is a threat from creditors, auctioneers. They want to repossess things. They want to repossess property. I cancel every order. Lebra Gadoska. I declare divine intervention. I say divine intervention. Jesus. To anyone here in this service that is in a debt crisis, I speak angelic assistance. I speak divine intervention. I pray for divine interception. Your things will not be repossessed. In the name of in Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hey. The devil is a liar. You will never go down. Tell your neighbor, I will never go down. 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 I remove your finances from the dominion of the powers of darkness. Jesus. Satan, take your hands off our finances. Now. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Hey. Whoever used your money to take your glory. Le Paragadoska. Hey. Whoever used your money to take your glory. In the name of Whoever Jesus. Whoever used your money and took it on demonic altars. I command your finances to be released. Re Release. I speak fire now. Fire. Holy Ghost fire. Fire. Holy Ghost fire. Fire. Holy Ghost fire. fire. I speak as an oracle. Jesus. The spring of your wealth will never go dry. We receive. Any spirit from the pit of hell that wants to cause you embarrassment. In the name. I decree and declare. Yes. You will not suffer shame. Jesus. You will not suffer embarrassment. Never. You will not be mocked. In Jesus name. May God turn every insult to result. May God turn your mockery to victory. In the name of Jesus. May God turn your mockery to victory. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout I receive. I receive. Sit down. Oh le paragato. I'm sensing something in my spirit. There will be so many miracles of supernatural debt cancellation. Yes! Prophesy! Mm, watch this. So she cries out to the prophet. And you know, the prophet asks her a question. What do you have in your house? And this woman, the devil convinced her she had nothing. So she said, I have nothing. But, hey... A jar of oil. I have nothing. You know, sometimes the devil will convince us that we have nothing. You know, when the prophet asked her, what do you have? He was pointing her to her own, what, her own resources. Because God will always use what you have. Look at David when he was confronted by Goliath. God looks at him and he says, what do you have? He had some smooth stone and a slingshot. That is what God used to bring Goliath down. Look at Samson when he was confronted by a thousand Philistines. God says, what do you have? He had the jawbone of a donkey. It is that jawbone of a donkey that he used. My God, to kill a thousand Philistines. Look at Moses when God raised him as a deliverer for the children of Israel. He said, what do you have? He had a stick or if you like he had a rod. It is that stick that became a snake before Pharaoh. It is that, it is that stick that parted the Red Sea. It is that stick that brought water out of a rock. When Jesus had 5,000 men without counting the men, 
the women and the children and he wanted to feed them he said what do you have and one small boy had two fish and five loaves it was the two fish and the five loaves that was multiplied to feed the multitude when Jesus went to the Cana of Galilee for the, at the wedding and the wine was finished for this newly white couple he looked around to see what they had he saw water and he said fill the water pots with water I'm here to announce to somebody in your nothingness you have something and I pray for you in this conference hey! may God show you what you carry and receive may God show you what you carry we receive may it. God show you what you have in the name of somebody Jesus somebody say my father my father, my maker. My father, my maker. Show me what I carry. Show me what I carry. My father, my maker. My father, my maker. Show me what I have. Show me what I have. Because God will always use what you have. God has given you a skill. God has given you a talent. God has given you an idea. Ah, tell your neighbor you have something. You have something. You have something. Come on, preach to two people. Tell them you have something. Ah, uh, come on, preach to two people. Tell them you have something. You have something. May God show you what you carry. Hey. May God show you what you In carry. The name of Jesus. Somebody say, Lord, show me what I have. Lord, show me what I have. God will show you what you have. Watch this. God said, uh, Elisha said to this woman, what do you have? And this woman felt like she had nothing. She said, I have nothing but a jar of oil and she was given a prophetic instruction because instruction brings construction and instruction comes to eliminate destruction and the instruction you obey determines the future you create this woman was told go borrow empty vessels from all your neighbors do not gather just a few then you and your sons go and shut the doors behind you my god go and borrow empty vessels many people have missed out on their season because of not obeying prophetic and divine instructions that God gave you but the Lord and you know some of them will not make sense this woman is already in a debt crisis and now she's been given a prophetic instruction go borrow empty vessels do not gather just a few then watch this the prophet was clear then go and shut the doors behind you and your sons that means you don't need the approval of everyone you don't need to go and consult some of you the reason why you have missed out on God it is because you are busy discussing and negotiating what God told you when you have the approval of God you don't need to be disturbed by the approval of men and don't allow people's opinion to yeah. pin you down uh, when you have the approval of God yes. you don't need to be disturbed by the approval of men Jesus. because when God speaks every other speaker becomes a noisemaker my God hey. yeah. tell your neighbor when God speaks when God speaks every other speaker every other speaker becomes a noisemaker becomes a noisemaker yeah. Yeah. The problem with most of us, we are busy listening to what everybody is saying, My God. and we are busy asking for everybody's opinion. Yet it is God that gave you the instruction. Listen to me. Don't. It doesn't matter what people are saying. I want you to shut the doors. Hey. Touch your neighbor. Tell them shut the doors. Shut the door. You know whoever you give attention gives you direction. That's why she was told shut the doors. The problem with most of us we are distracted. We have not shut the doors. Tell your neighbor who you give attention gives you direction. And some of us are listening to the wrong voices. Oh are you listening to me? I want you to shut the door. Shut, shut your ears as well. Your destiny is not in the mouth of gossipers. Your destiny is in the hands of God. Come on now. Ah, hey. As they keep talking behind your back. Hey. God will bless you before their face. In the name of Jesus. Hey. Hey. In the name of Jesus. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Your destiny is not in the mouth of Your gossipers. Destiny is not in the mouth of gossipers. Your destiny is in the hands of God. Your destiny is in the hands of God. Tell your neighbor as they keep talking behind your as back. They keep talking behind your back. God will 
will bless you before their face. Lord will bless you before. When God speaks, every other speaker hey. becomes a noise maker. My God, my God. God has the final word. Hey. I came to tell somebody, shut the door. Hey, shut Touch the door. Touch your neighbor, tell them, shut the door. Shut the door. You have opened the doors for everybody. Shut the doors. Shut the door. Shut the door. In the next half of this year, don't relate with everybody. The Bible only commanded you to love your neighbor. It never commanded you to make everybody your friend. That means love is a must, but relationship is by choice. Come on. I can love you, but I don't have to make you my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Tell your neighbor love is a must. Love is a must. But relationship is by choice. But relationship is by choice. That is why Amos 3.3 3 warns you that two cannot work together unless, unless they, they are agreed. agreed. The Bible continues to warn you that bad company corrupts good morals. I need you to understand the people in your life. Association brings assimilation which brings impartation. That means you cannot be different from those whom you closely associate with. The people in your life, they are either a blessing or a burden. The people in your life, they either make you better or bitter. The people in your life, they either exalt you or exhaust you. The people in your life, they are either a help or a hindrance. The people in your life, they are either investors or wasters. Ask your neighbor, are you an investor or a waster? Are you an investor or a waster? The people in your life, they either accelerate your life or delay your life. Yes. I need you to understand. Don't make everybody your friend. Your association will determine your acceleration. Jesus. Uh, shut the door. Shut the door. Touch three people. Tell them shut the door. 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 Sit down. I'm about to close. Le paragatoska. Ah, tell your neighbor love is a must, but relationship is by choice. A friend to everybody is a friend to nobody. Are you listening to me? So I need you to choose in the remaining half of this year. So watch this now. La bragadoska. So Elisha said to this woman, go and borrow empty vessels. It was a prophetic instruction. I love this woman because she believed in the prophet. Second Chronicles 20, 20 says, believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. And believe in his prophets and so you shall prosper. Believing is in two ways. You must believe in the Lord your God so that you can be established and you must believe in his prophets so that you can prosper your prosperity is in the mouth of the prophet this woman believed in the prophet and the bible says this woman followed the instruction of the prophet she began to gather empty vessels hey, le then together with her sons they went into the house and shut the doors look at your neighbor tell them shut the doors shut the door tell your neighbor don't give everybody attention tell your neighbor who you give attention gives you direction watch this she shut the doors behind her and her sons remember the devil had made her feel like she had nothing even she said to the prophet i have nothing but a jar of oil God will always use what you have. And the Bible says she began to pour the oil. The little jar of oil filled all the vessels until there was no vessel left. Le Bragadoska. The small jar of oil is what God used to multiply, to bring her out of the debt crisis. Watch this because I'm closing. And follow me very well. This woman filled all the jar with oil and I love this woman because many people in our generation after they receive the blessing my God you don't see them again this woman came back to the prophet Elisha tell you my neighbor don't forget don't forget you know it is unfortunate that we are in a generation that celebrates in the club what they got in the church somebody said the devil is a liar you know, we are in a generation that wants the healing and not the healer. A 
generation that wants the miracle but not the miracle worker. A generation that wants the blessing and not the blesser. A generation that wants the deliverance and not the deliverer. But tell your neighbor, stay connected to the source. Yeah! Yeah! This woman came back. Somebody say, I am coming back. I am coming back. To Etsy Trinoli Ministries. Ah, uh, come on, touch three people. Tell them I'm coming back with my testimony. I am coming back. I'm with coming my back with my miracle. Coming I'm back coming my back with my breakthrough. My. Yeah. 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 What you get by prayer, you sustain by prayer. What you get by the prophetic, you sustain by the prophetic. She came back to the prophet Elisha. She said, man of God, I followed the prophetic instruction. The oil and the jars are full. The oil has been multiplied. And the prophet gave, he gave her a prophetic instruction and said to her, go and sell the oil. Pay your debts and live on the rest. Go and sell the oil. Pay your debts and live on the rest. I'm here to declare to somebody, Le Pragadoska, Ziparagadeshka. May God show you what you carry. We receive. I release an anointing of sales. I receive. May your goods and services be in high demand. I receive. I am seeing multiple streams of income that God is establishing in I people's lives. I receive life. in the name in of the Jesus. In the realm of the spirit, I am seeing the garden of Eden. I receive. The garden of Eden had four rivers. I am seeing God opening different streams of income for people. I am seeing new channels of income that will write off your debts. Elisha said to her, go sell the oil, pay your debts and live on the rest. I am seeing open doors that will bring financial freedom. I receive. I am seeing open doors. One open door that will give you your financial freedom. One open door. One business idea hey. that will give you debt cancellation. I am seeing the miracles of debt cancellation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of you are going to receive calls that your debts are paid for. Some of you, God will open a door. God will give you an idea. Hey. I'm seeing miracle money. Hey. I Le Pragadoska. I'm seeing money coming from expected and unexpected places. Hey. Ah. Somebody say money cometh, money, money cometh, coming, money, money cometh. Coming, money coming. I am seeing your goods and services in high yeah, demand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of you are already working in a certain job. Hey. But I'm seeing business ideas. I'm seeing business ideas. And as God's oracle, I bless the work of your hands. I, see. I am seeing creative and business ideas. Jesus. I am seeing God blessing the work of your hands. Hey. I'm seeing those hands are la bragadoska. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you will touch with your hands, it hey. will increase and multiply. Reply. I declare your thoughts will translate to money. I receive. I declare you are coming out of debt. I receive. You will touch money in ways you have never imagined. I receive. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak acceleration. Hey. I speak debt cancellation. I receive it. Debt cancellation. I receive it. Debt eradication. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I bless your current and future business initiatives. I receive. I bless your investments. Jesus. In in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Altars of poverty. Hey. Generational curses of poverty. Oh my God. I break them in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I declare you will rewrite the history of your family. I receive it. In every wealthy family. I receive there it. There is that one person that broke the chains of poverty. Hey. I declare you will be the first millionaire in your family. I receive it. You will be the first billionaire in your family. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Altars of poverty. Hey. Altars of generational poverty. Yay! I command them catch fire. I receive it. Catch fire. I receive it. Wherever your finances Shop. have been yeah, yeah, tied, yeah, 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 yeah. I speak a release. Yes. I speak a release. I release. I speak a release. I receive. I speak a release. Now. Wherever your money is tied. In the name of Jesus. I speak a release. Release. I speak a release. Yes. Somebody said three times money cometh. Money, money cometh. coming. Money coming. Money coming. I receive in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Death cancellation. Jesus. Declare seven times death cancellation. 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 In the name of Jesus. You will not suffer embarrassment.
embarrassment. My God, my you God. will not be put to shame. My God, my you God. You will not suffer shame. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You will never go down. Yes. You will never slide back to where you came I from. I receive. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of financial embarrassment. Yes. As God's oracle, I cancel it. Yes. I cancel it. Yes. I cancel it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I cancel it. I receive. I declare after this conference. I receive. Go and prosper. Yes. Go and succeed. Yes. Go and excel. Yes. Go and be fruitful. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go and prosper. Yes. Go and excel. Yes. Go and succeed. Yes. In the name of Jesus. 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 Touch three people. Tell them I'm coming out of debt. We are coming I'm, out of debt. We are coming out of debt. We are coming out of debt. Those that are watching us from around the world. I am coming out of debt. We decree and we declare. You are coming out of debt. In the name of Jesus. By the end of this year. Hi. You will be debt free. In Jesus Every name. Every spirit of debt. Jesus We name. break your control. Now. We approach you from the roots. Now. We declare be free. Yeah. Be free. Yeah. Freedom from debt. Jesus In name. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Liparagadoska. Zepayagadeshka. Likarabagadoska. In the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. Everybody standing on your feet. Five things will happen. As God is bringing you out of debt, and as the acceleration anointing is coming upon your life, I want you to take note of these five things that God has told me as we are standing up. Somebody say, I'm coming out of debt. Somebody say, I am walking out of debt. Ah, uh, come on, wave your hand and say, this is my, this is my season. This is my season. Of supernatural debt cancellation. Of supernatural debt cancellation. Somebody say, I speak debt cancellation. I speak debt cancellation. Pray that prayer point for one minute. The Holy Spirit said to me, tell my people, there is a supernatural debt cancellation that is coming. In the name of Jesus. Zipayagadeshka. I declare prophetically it shall be well with you the devil is a liar I terminate the spirit of death I terminate the spirit of luck I terminate the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I break every curse of borrowing somebody say I break every curse of borrowing in the name of Jesus every curse of loss in the name of Jesus chains of financial limitation in the name of Jesus I command them break 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 every yoke of financial debt we break it by fire we break it by fire in the realm of the spirit Jesus I see God giving you new new and profitable opportunities Jesus I am seeing new Jesus. and profitable opportunities Jesus. as God did it for the widow my God. somebody say my father my maker my father my maker give me new give me new and, and new and creative opportunities and new, new and creative opportunities somebody say I receive I receive the miracle the miracle of death cancellation of death cancellation in the name of Jesus in the name of say, Jesus I pray I pray the spirit of death the spirit of death in my life and in my family in my life and in my family every financial hindrance any financial hindrance, every financial barrier every financial barrier catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire, fire I'm hearing the Lord say to somebody your financial dignity is being restored. In the name of Jesus. Your financial dignity is being restored. We receive. Le paragadeshka. Le paragadoska. Ze payagadeshka. Le graska magadeshka. I want you to touch three people. Tell them I'm coming out. I'm coming out of debt. 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 Now listen, I want to read this verse. Then I tell you five things as we are standing and we are going to Jesus. use the anointing of no more delay and divine acceleration. Listen, Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 12. Then the Lord said to me, you have seen well, for I am ready to perform my word. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 12. This scripture came to me 21 times. I was praying. 
Then the Lord said to me, you have seen well, for I am ready to perform my word. I am seeing acceleration. Somebody say acceleration. When you talk about acceleration, you're talking about speed. You're talking about, uh, about advancement, achievement, attainment. You're talking about being on the fast track of life. So I need you to understand what is going to happen as we anoint you. I am seeing unstoppable momentum, my God. When you talk about divine speed, you're talking about unusual speed, rare speed. That means God is about to quicken some things around you, my God. And somebody, I release speed in your life. I release speed in your family, speed in your finances, speed in your career in the name of Jesus because God does not always follow natural timetable. He has his own timeline. So tell your neighbor, don't limit God. And what has taken others years to achieve, you will achieve it in months in the name of Jesus. What took your parents a lifetime to achieve? You will achieve it in a short time in the name of Jesus. Somebody says speed. Hey, somebody says speed. You will not do it by your own ability. You will do it by divine ability. Hey, some of you think it is going to take years to come out of debt. But I have news for you. Somebody says speed. Somebody says speed. Somebody says speed. What has taken others 10 years will take you 10 weeks. Not by human ability, but by divine ability. Now watch these five things before we go into the anointing session. Number one, when the anointing of divine acceleration comes, it helps you to catch up on wasted time. Turn to your neighbor, tell them you will catch up on wasted time. Most of us have wasted time. How, what do I mean? We have wasted time in the sense you wasted finances on a business that pushed you to bankruptcy or a business that went down. You wasted time courting somebody that is not your wife or your husband. You wasted time. You know, you are doing a job that does not match your credentials. That means you have wasted time. You are not where you are supposed to be. So divine, when the anointing of divine acceleration comes upon you, uh, I, I am seeing you catching up on wasted time. Somebody say, I will catch up on wasted time hey come on declare it two times I will catch up on wasted time the second thing the anointing of divine acceleration it helps you to accomplish things over a shorter period you will accomplish things over a shorter period as this anointing comes on you somebody declare I will accomplish things over a shorter period Somebody declare what has taken others ears. Hey, I will take a shorter period. Some of you have been feeling like you are, a, you know, that time is already against you. But I'm seeing you accomplishing things over a shorter period. The third thing that will happen as this anointing comes on you, as the anointing of divine acceleration comes upon you, it enables you to outpace your equals. There are people you finish school together. There are people that are your age mates. But the anointing of acceleration helps you to outpace your contemporaries. My God, somebody is about to receive divine acceleration. I declare the people that knew you will see you and say no it cannot be you I said the people that grew up with you the people that know you they will see you and say no it cannot be you tell your neighbor you will be a wonder that will make people wonder are you listening to me the people who knew, knew you before will not be able to recognize you hey hey declare I will accelerate come on declare speed on my feet increase on my hands favor on my head come on declare speed on my feet hey, declare increase on my hands favor on my head the fourth thing that will happen so that you have an understanding as we anoint you as the anointing of divine acceleration comes upon you, it will cause you to operate at God's speed. Tell your neighbor, I will operate at God's speed. And you know, God's speed is faster. Divine speed is faster. You no longer operate under human speed. 
I declare as you get anointed, things will happen faster than usual. I declare from now, your progress will be unusual. In business, in, uh, in your career, in your academics, in your documents, your progress will be unusual. I said your progress will be unusual. The fifth thing, when the anointing of acceleration comes upon you, it will cause you to overtake. Tell your neighbor, overtaking is allowed. Hey, hey. tell your neighbor, overtaking is allowed. Touch your neighbor, tell them I am about to overtake. No more delay. I want you to mention those areas in your life where there has been delay. Where there has been delay. I'm also seeing a man. You have been married. You have been married. But I don't see the fruit of the womb. The Lord is also remembering you. He says no more delay. I'm hearing like Jerry, 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 Jerry. Very quickly. We are getting ready to go into the prophetic and into the anointing session. I'm hearing like Jerry. I am seeing this man crying concerning the fruit of the womb. I'm hearing like Jerry, 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 Jerry. What is your name? Jerry. Your name is Jerry. Yes. I am counting in the realm of the spirit like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm seeing like more than seven, more than seven, more than seven, more than seven years. But I'm not seeing the fruit of the womb. What is this I am seeing in the spirit? Uh, my wife has had a lot of miscarriages. Mm, shalabakadoska. Stretch your hands towards him. The Lord is going to remember you. I am seeing the fruit of the womb. The Lord is wiping away your tears. As I'm praying concerning the fruit of the womb, I hear the Lord say, you shall be fruitful. I'm, hear, I'm hearing the Lord say, every barren area in your life, you know, to be barren means to be unfruitful, to be unproductive. To be barren means to be dry, to be desert-like. In the realm of the spirit, I am seeing people that are going through financial barrenness. Financial, economical, spiritual barrenness. I don't know which area in your life there is barrenness. But somebody declare every form of barrenness. Pray this prayer point. Every form of barrenness. How many people that know that God is able? Amen. Your wife will carry her somewhere. Stretch your hands towards them. And anybody here and those that are watching us that are believing God for the fruit of the womb, the Lord will do it. If you ask Sarah, she will tell you that there is a God. Uh, there is a God that says it is not over until God says it is over. Amen. Stretch your hands towards him. Le pragadoska. Zipa yagadeshka le graska magadeshka. Zipa ragadoska. The Bible says in Luke chapter 1 and verse 25. Le paragadoska. Ze graska magadeshka. Le pragadoska zigadeshka le bragadoska. I'm seeing the Lord remembering you. Elizabeth said, and the Lord looked on me and took away my reproach from among the people. Your reproach will be rolled away. Amen. The Lord is remembering you. Stretch your hands towards him. Somebody say, my father, my maker. My father, my maker. Remember me. Remember me. My father, my maker. My father, my maker. Remember my family. Remember my family. Next year by this time, I see you rejoicing. It is done. In the name of Jesus. The anointing of supernatural debt cancellation. And an anointing. Ah, le bragadoska, zigadeshka, le graska magadeshka. Oh, Jesus. You are here also. I am seeing many forms of delay being broken. I am seeing marital delay, Amen. financial delay, Amen. academic delay, Amen. business delay. Amen. I am seeing ministry delay. Amen. The Lord is saying no more delay. Amen. Somebody say no more delay. 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 Shandala Grasta. I'm hearing I need to pray for somebody. I'm hearing like Nigel, like Nigel, like Nigel, Nigel. I'm hearing like Nigel. I want
want you to mention three areas. Begin to pray. Where is the, who was with the microphone? I want you to begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Shalabakadoska. You are playing the instrument so powerfully right there. And in the realm of the spirit, Lebragadoska. I'm seeing like a musical project that you are pursuing. I'm seeing like a musical project. That's true. But when you are just about to almost complete it, I see something happened. The devil brought confusion and darkness. That's and true. it's like the musicians left. That's true. Is it true? That's true. Shalabakadoska. You know, the devil is the author of confusion. And right now I declare every spirit of darkness that is sowing confusion and discord between you and your destiny help us. I silence it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody say every spirit of confusion and every darkness. Every spirit of confusion. That is targeting my destiny relationships. That is targeting my destiny relationships. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Somebody say, I declare. I declare. Any evil informant. Every evil informant. That is mentioning my name negatively. That is mentioning my name negatively. Before my helpers. Before my helpers. Be silent. Be silent. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Stretch your hands towards him. I'm seeing failure at the edge of breakthrough. And anyone here that has been experiencing failure at the edge of breakthrough. Just when things are about to materialize. You know it's like a demon of almost there. But never there. Somebody said the devil is a liar. Lift up your hands and say, you demon. You demon. Of almost there. Of almost there. But never there. But never there. Out of my life now. Out of my life now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit. Every spirit. Of disappointment. Of disappointment. At the edge of breakthrough. At the edge of breakthrough. Touch fire. 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 Come, Shala, stretch your hands towards him. God is going to restore every diverted opportunity. Amen. And even this project, God tells me he's not a God of abandoned project. Hey. He is the Alpha and Omega. You are here or you're watching from around the world. Any project that is incomplete, I release the grace of completion. Amen. Any project that you started that is not, that is not complete, I release the grace of completion in the name of Jesus. Amen. Viewers around the world receive the grace of completion over every incompleted project in the name of Jesus. Amen. If it is a house you started to build and it's incomplete, I don't know what project you started. If it is a business, if it whatever project, somebody say, I receive the anointing of completion. I receive the anointing of completion. Say three times, I receive the anointing of completion. 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 You will complete it. The Lord tells me to tell you three things. Number one, I'm seeing God settling you maritally. Amen. God is going to settle you maritally. There is Amen. marital settlement that is coming. Amen. Number two, I'm hearing the Lord say, concerning your trouble documents, there shall be no more delay. Amen. No more delay. Amen. And anyone here that is trusting God in regard to the issue of any kind of document, I decree and declare, no more delay. Amen. May God bypass protocol and procedure Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree and declare, let the favor of God and the grace of God rest upon your life. You are a man of God. You are in the school of training. God is preparing you and training you. This conference marks the beginning of a new season in your life. It is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Everybody lift up your hands. I am singing the realm of the spirit. Something is happening in somebody's life. Rapaya Gadeshka. Lipa Ragadoska Legraska Magadeshka. Oh, Zipa Ragadoska. Zepaya Gadeshka Legraska Magadeshka. Zipa Ragadoska. Zepa Ragadeshka Legraska Magadeshka. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory. Yes. Le Karaska. 
Zipa Ragadoska, Zipa Yagadeshka. We receive. I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. There are people here that have been having certain dreams. They have been certain, they've been having certain dreams. And these are dreams that have been demonically orchestrated. And these are demonics that tie you to delay. Dreams that tie you to the spirit of poverty, the spirit of struggle. You are in this place. When you dream, you see yourself falling from the mountain top. My God, you've been seeing yourself falling from the mountain top. That is a dream of delay. You've been seeing yourself falling from the mountain top. My God, you are here. You've been seeing yourself climbing a mountain, but you never get to the top. You always dream and you see yourself climbing the mountain but you never get to the top that is a dream of delay my god you dream and you see yourself in filthy places that is a dream of delay a dream of poverty you always dream and you see yourself in the dream it is like you are in filthy places that is a dream of delay you dream and you see yourself wearing tattered rags or tattered clothes it is a dream of poverty it is a dream of delay lebragadoska you dream and you see yourself. You see someone coming to question you. Why are you progressing? Why are you advancing? These are dreams of delay, dreams of poverty. Somebody is always questioning you in the dream. Why are you progressing? Why are you advancing? It is a dream of delay. You dream and your hands are handicapped. It is a dream of delay. You dream and you see that your hands are handicapped. That is a dream of stagnation la paragadoska but i stand on this altar under the corporate anointing any kind of dream you have been consistently dreaming i declare you have been delivered in this service le paragadoska some of you you dream and you see yourself borrowing and begging that is a dream of poverty you dream and you see yourself borrowing and begging it is a dream of poverty i declare you will never beg somebody say i will never beg i will never beg i will never beg in the name of jesus you dream and you see yourself rewriting exams that you did a long time ago that is a dream of delay you dream and you see yourself caged it is a dream of delay and poverty you dream and you see yourself changed in the dream it is a dream of poverty right now in the name of jesus as you are lifting your hands every dream of poverty i command it to be destroyed in the name of jesus every enemy of your prosperity catch fire i open your finances i open your financial doors every conspiracy against your breakthrough every conspiracy against your marriage against your ministry against your health i command it catch fire 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 you will not struggle in the name of jesus anyone holding your blessing when you leave this service i declare you will receive a call of good news god is releasing your destiny help us you will not go backward you will only go forward every spirit of disappointment every spirit of discouragement Fire. In the name of Jesus. Everybody standing on your feet. I want us to do something prophetic as we go into the anointing session. Gather my people together. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. The Lord told me, tell my people to enter into covenant with me by sacrifice. I'm seeing angels that have been released all over this place. Angels of breakthrough. Angels of healing. Angels of money, angels of favor, angels of deliverance. And the Lord said, gather my people together. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. The Lord told me, I want you to anoint them with senior prophet Ed Citrinoli. Today marks the turning point of your life. Somebody turn around and say, my life is turning around. 
people that knew you before they will see you and say no it cannot be you so the Lord spoke to me and he said challenge my people to enter into covenant with me by sacrifice sacrifice is what touches you and moves you if you give and it does not move you it is not a sacrifice if you give and it does not inconvenience you it is not a sacrifice sacrifice moves you it touches you and this is a prophetic instruction when God sent Elijah to the widow of Zarephath she in first Kings chapter 17 she was gathering a couple of sticks that she may go and prepare the last meal for her son that they may eat and die and the prophet Elijah comes with an instruction go and make me some bread this woman understood if what I have cannot meet my need it is not my harvest it is my seed if what you have cannot meet your need it is not your harvest it is your seed and your seed of today is your fruit of tomorrow when God wants to give you a harvest he will always ask you for a seed that is why Elisha asked this woman what do you have God will always use what you have and I'm hearing concerning your financial destiny. God is about to do something. And we need to enter into covenant with God by sacrifice. The Lord showed me certain people that need to enter into covenant with God. This marks the turning point of your life. And I want to give you an opportunity to sow and to enter into covenant with God by sacrifice. 27 of you, you are saying I'm tired of debt. I'm tired of delay. Miracles, signs and wonders